Test, 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 okay. Um, I just assume it's uh, five past one. Uh, welcome back. I hope you had some lunch and I hope you don't fall asleep right now. And uh, the next up is uh, Kazuki Omu with uh, the open source vulnerabilities of the last two years. Enjoy. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. So in these sessions, I want to explain that I exploited OSS vulnerabilities since 2.1.2.2 to 2.1.2.3. Actually, you, as you know, there are so many vulnerabilities uh, recently. Actually, um, I, we are having so much vulnerabilities in a, even in a product, uh, proprietary software or hardware or uh, like a firewall or router or hub or anything. And uh, in this session, I want to fo we want to focus more about the OSS, open source softwares. So let's start to, yeah. Yeah, no, I'm sorry. Okay, here's my personal history, it's just a, just a quick explanation, what, who am I? Actually, I am a, like a threat, threat intelligence researcher and a security engineer. Uh, almost, I spent three years uh, as a threat intelligence engineer and also a SIEM, log, SIEM, log management and log analyzing soft, uh, software professional service engineer at HP, almost three years. I was working in Hong Kong HP anyway. So, and also antivirus and I spent so much time for SE Linux. I, I hope you already know about uh, SE Linux. Who, uh, just uh, raise your hand, who knows that SE Linux? Ah, thank you, thank you so much, <laughs> thank you. and. Are you turning on the uh, SE Linux? <laughs> are you disabled or enabled? Are you who is enabling the uh, SE Linux? Turn on SE Linux? No one? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I know that. I know that. I know that. <laughs> but that, uh, as you know, SC, uh, Android, almost Android, is having that uh, SE Linux features and uh, it's turned on that uh, SE Android. So it's <laughs> okay. Hey. Okay, SE Linux is a just a part of the two features for the, the security. It's just a part of. So I'm I like SE Linux anyway. So from here I want to uh, more focus about the, like this threat intelligence. What is a threat or something? I don't want to uh, explain what is a threat or what is uh, the vulnerabilities. I just want to uh, explain how many vulnerabilities uh, from 201, like a 2014, 2015, 2015 to 2023. Anyway, so this is just a personal history. So I wish to explain here's the main story uh, main topics in this session typical oss vulnerabilities since 2022 to so actually so many <laughs> typical oss vulnerabilities you know the top one is uh, our headaches end of july actually yesterday yeah no 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 this morning this morning they this morning that uh, uh, researchers put that uh, POC and exploit code to uh, GitHub, then maybe in next month, I, I guess, in next month, many of the uh, hacker, cracker will use this uh, vulnerabilities, stack rot. So just a slack, a slack stack road or like a kernel vulnerabilities or sudo vulnerabilities or bind open SSH, tons of vulnerabilities, even if on the 2023. 
These are just an example for uh, critical vulnerabilities, critical and typical. But so much of OSS vulnerabilities are Uh, in the two, even if in the two or two three, they disclosed. So here's a published vulnerabilities. You know, uh, I actually I counted from a uh, two o one four, just a uh, two o one four to uh, two o two three. So many it's raging. To uh, here now it's uh, here. Mm. This is okay. <laughs> Just wait. <laughs> mm. All right. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, <laughs> this is a uh, this. Uh, yeah. Uh, I I want to say that the vulnerability is so growing up. It's growing up, growing up, growing up every month or every year. This is a uh, year's, and it's all, all, it, all vulnerabilities are included. I mean, that, uh, like hardware, routers, storage, anything. It's uh, increasing. And uh, also here it's a monthly based, monthly trend. Even if the monthly, it's uh, <laughs> growing up, right? But recently, I, in my Hmm. In my uh, point of view, recently there are not so much uh, Linux kernels vulnerabilities published since like this because uh, Google's already uh, uh, Google's uh, published that uh, I'm I'm not sure uh, Sysbot Sysbot and Syscallers and that uh, fudg fudging softwares OSS fudging software since two o around two one nine I guess two one nine or two o two. 20. Then almost the uh, Linux kernels vulnerabilities are uh, like uh, it's fixed, not. Mm, but anyway, so uh, it's still growing up, and uh, every month, like uh, why I put this monthly because uh, every month, you know, it's uh, it's including that uh, uh, as I said, storage or anything. Even if in a month around the. Uh, like uh, more than two two thousand vulnerabilities. That means every day we have uh, like a hundred vulnerabilities. So it's really really hard to maintain that uh, systems. If you are tracking that uh, every vulnerabilities, then every time you need to know. What is the vulnerabilities for? Like uh, Cisco routers vulnerabilities or storage vulnerabilities, HP, Microsoft, Linux, anything, right? Every time you need to check that uh, what is the vulnerabilities, and uh, the second is a serious problem. How serious that the vulnerabilities? What kind of vulnerabilities are? So, can we exploit remotely? If it's a remotely exploit, you can exploit. You can use that uh, vulnerabilities from exploit uh, from remote. It's so critical, right? But if it's a local vulnerabilities, even if it's a critical but a local, then just you need to lock out the lock that uh, like a data centers or something, right? So you need to check that of how serious for that vulnerabilities, and do we need to update immediately or not? Right? Update firmware. If it's a firmware, you need to reboot. Or if it's a broke, if anything will happen, you need to like a throw away that the hardware. Right? Then you need to update. You need to think about those kind of things. So then that this uh, entry every one is saying that the vulnerability management, we need to b manage that the vulnerabilities. We need to vulnerability, we need to do a vulnerability management, so we need to like a prioritize. 
the basics is uh, the are we using that uh, product, right? If you are using that uh, like a cloud software and the cloud, everything in the cloud, everything in the cloud environment, and you are having that uh, like a hardware vulnerability, you don't need to care about, right? Right? You just need to focus more about uh, like a Azure or AWS or those kind of vulnerabilities. So. This is a basic, and also uh, exploited. If it's uh, exploited, we are saying that uh, in the world, it's if it's uh, exploited, we need to fix it immediately, right? Otherwise, someone maybe um, I'm not sure, maybe uh, Russia or China or North Korea or any anyone will use that the vulnerabilities in a week, recently in a week, in a month, maybe, in a week, maybe, yeah. So we need to check that. And also a serious remotely or serious local or blah, blah, blah. blah. But we need to do that, uh, prioritize. So. Then recently we need to more focus about uh, what is uh, exploited vulnerabilities. So exploited vulnerabilities is an important word. And how do you know that exploited vulnerabilities? The famous one is here, CISA, US cybersecurity incident, uh, cybersecurity uh, infrastructure, sorry, it's infrastructure security agency. CISA is publishing this catalog database, every camp, every used vulnerabilities, I mean uh, like uh, Russia's or North Korea's or those kind of uh, like uh, APT threat uh, hmm. actor are using that vulnerabilities, CISA is putting that uh, vulnerabilities on this database. And if you check that uh, this database, you know what is the vulnerabilities, what, uh, sorry, what vulnerabilities are using really, I mean, uh, not only uh, logical, but also uh, real crack or real hacking situations, what kind of vulnerabilities are using? In here, 2022, 100 or uh, 113 entries, 113 entries uh, in a cave database. It's used vulnerabilities. Someone, threat actor, is using this exploit. And it's also including that OSS 36. And also, uh, now it's a half year, 2023. Ah, now, I'm not sure, now every, mm, now more than uh, 50 entries are in a uh, cab. Because I used, I, I created this uh, materials on uh, July, so, uh, no, on June. And OSS is nine entries. So, how do you know that the uh, exploited vulnerabilities? It's, it's the best, uh, simple thing is use this CISA cable. And here's a typical exploited, it's already exploited vulnerabilities since 2022 to 2023. I put these vulnerabilities, but this is, this is uh, just a typical. Just a famous one, I mean. Uh, mm. As you know, Log4j or Linux kernels, uh, Spring, Linux kernel vulnerabilities, Android framework vulnerabilities, blah, blah, blah. Those of uh, OSS vulnerabilities are already exploited. That means someone, hacker, cracker, is using these vulnerabilities. 
So let's take a look at uh, each vulnerabilities. Log for share. Uh, have you know about uh, the log for share? <laughs> if you know that the uh, laser hand, <laughs> no? <laughs> Ah, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> so, if you are familiar with uh, the security, this log for share is uh, like a nightmare. <laughs> On a two o two one, I I couldn't take a, like a Christmas vacations. <laughs> Christmas vacation since Christmas vacation to New Year's, we are having some. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay, I stop. <laughs> mm. Okay. Log for sure, it's uh, just a. Uh, uh, it's. It's a lack of a. Uh, uh, like a. Um, like a lack of a escape in a log. Log for. Log for J version two and also a log for uh, that. Uh, ah, anyway, uh, log for J is having what's having that uh, vulnerabilities and uh, remote attacker can run anything in a remote server. That uh, that was a nightmare. Yeah, and threat actor muddy waters, Iran, Iran. Muddy waters were using that uh, log for share vulnerabilities because that uh, log for J is uh, almost uh, Java applications are using that uh, log for J package. Then, like uh, Israel's sys8 application, maybe it's uh, it's contained. It was contained at uh, log for J, and uh, it was contained at uh, vulnerable log for J version. Yeah, they already uh, they use the log for shells vulnerabilities for attacking the uh, Israel. Yeah. Jikan nai na. Toba so. Yeah. Yes. If you put this like this in a log format, if you put patient message to uh, the like uh, LDAP servers, then this. Log4j package will extract and uh, send uh, and uh, yeah connect to this LDAP server and get that uh, code from this LDAP server. Then any like uh, any uh, applications or any code you can run on in that uh, Log4j machine. In that the machines on the log ah, in it. so ah, yeah here. Mm. Yeah. LDAP servers. If an uh, other card is using that this LDAP servers, and you can open the, the terminal or anything. So let's take a look at the uh, log for shells POC. Uh, yeah. Yeah. In here, it's I created web application. This is uh, log4j. This is having that uh, log4j as a log software. This uh, web server is using that uh, log4 shell, log4j. And if you put this like this LDAP, blah blah blah, in here. Now you can you can you could open remote server terminal Tomcat because the, this LDAP uh, no no this uh, log4 shells log4j it's running as a 
uh, from the tomcat. And then the attacker can get the, the tomcat owner, tomcat owners from the, the remote shell. And you can do anything like a tomcat touch or anything with a tomcat uh, tomcat permission. So, and I put this ls dash lz. Even if the, the SLinux enabled, I'm sorry. <laughs> Even if SLinux is enabled, you cannot you cannot prevent this vulnerabilities. SLinux is no useless, but sometimes use it's useless. <laughs> So even if you uh, protect with the uh, SE Linux, log for sure is working. So log for sure is here, and also a uh, dirty pipe. Dirty pipe is uh, also a Linux kernel vulnerabilities. So uh, flow was found. Uh, please read. <laughs> yeah, we don't have so much time. So you can uh, so. Attacker, unprivileged local user could use this flow to write the page and run any like a read only any uh, read only files to write. Even if it's a read only files, you can write. Ah, ten minutes. <laughs> so, yes. Yes. It's already exploited <laughs> Android. So demonstration. The demonstration is important, not Here, who am I? I'm uh, just a one user, normal user, right? This attacks from a local side and not remote. You can download any like this kind of a attack tool from a GitHub. Now it's a loot. I dilute and SE Linux enabled. Even if SE Linux enabled, dirty pipe is can uh, uh, attacker can use the, the dirty pipe to uh, privilege escalation. Here, root. So, dirty pipe is uh, also a, like a nightmare. But if it's a little bit uh, better than log for share because uh, it's a uh, local, right? It's not remote. And Spring for share, it's also uh, like a it's similar as the log for sure. It's a uh, remotely exploited. Spring Express, uh, yeah, for user. If user will provide a specially crafted spell as a routing expression, remote code use. Demonstration. Mm. Yeah. I use the car to run that. Uh, 
command with the this JSP has uh, the vulnerabilities, and uh, if I use that command as ID, then root. That is <laughs> very short. <laughs> mm. Spring for shell is uh, almost the same as uh, like a log for shell. Android framework, Android framework, we, uh, I don't have uh, like a POC movie. You can download it from uh, GitHub. It's uh, um, Android framework vulnerabilities and, uh, and some, of, uh, ty some type of Android. Mm. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so let's skip this. So other critical vulnerabilities, Sudo edit, sudo, sudo, ah, five minutes, okay, sudo edit. If you put the uh, dash dash argument, <laughs> sudo with a dash dash argument from a, a environment variables, then sudo will work and uh, you can edit anything with a uh, uh, as a root account. Demonstrations, not so much time, so just skip. Yeah, here, sudo test, sudo test user is only having that uh, permission to s edit bar temp read only edit test. As a command, sudo edit cannot run as a with a sudo. Like a sudo ls, it's not allowed, right? But, ah, uh, let's skip. Mm. Permission denied. It's a read only. Ah, uh, <laughs> yeah. But please uh, wait. Ah, uh, to do edit, you can run, you can edit that uh, read only files because the sudo test is only having this permission, or he is only allowed to edit this file, right? And like this, yeah. If we put editor equal dash bim dash dash etc password, then here. Uh, then you run that VIM uh, password with a sudo. It's, it has to not, uh, has to uh, like a <laughs> disallow, but <laughs> you can write, right? Test, test. You could write these files, even if that uh, it's it what it has to know. Uh, anyway, mm. so we don't have so much time, so just skip. Okay, su so edit is also uh, very famous and uh, easy to use and critical vulnerability. So here's a conclusion. We need to do uh, prioritize. As I said before, we have having like a hundred vulnerabilities in a day. Nowadays, hundred. Then we need to prioritize exploited vulnerabilities. It should be a priority high. And also, uh, if you want to know that uh, 
what is the exploited vulnerabilities, then you need to check out. It's better to check this CISA cable or like a CISA mailing list or CISA web page. It's better to check this. OK, that's it. So any question? If you have any questions, ah, no, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> do you have, do you ha do you guys have any question? Okay, okay, thank you. <laughs>